uh, I just to get started. Um, firstly, firstly, congratulations. Um, can you speak about when you found out about this honor and just what the words Joe was about to just take out his captaincy? Um, I had a meeting with Joe earlier this week and um, I wasn't expecting it at the time. And um, basically, just said that I'd been it's something that she's been thinking about and um, she's just been impressed with like my leadership on and off the field um this season and so she's just willing to give me the opportunity that also comes the back of wanting to develop a bit of growth and depth within our leadership group um on the field especially you've sort of been captain around the Grammys for a while now um how do you sort of describe your own leadership style and what you want to bring to her there at the game look leaders are very different to everyone um they lead in their own ways and um, i've got to give credit to the leaders that have been in my shoes before and those that will come and um, there are things that I've learned from them and there's things that I like to do that's a little bit different. And so um, I like to lead by example. Um, I'm going to go a few words when we come into huddles, but just trying to lead from the front and, and, by, and by the side of my, of my teammates uh, is probably like the most important thing to me. Um, very different style of leadership to, to Mac. Um, Mac's quite a clever girl and, and I guess that there's a bit of... Um, I'm, I'm like nervous. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit nervous, um, but it's because I genuinely care. I just want to make sure I do right by my team. How many Mac also sort of in the squad as well? Uh, sorry, in the 23. Um, does that just help ease the nerve, knowing that you can sort of go to her? If you need sort of questions in the build up or sort of on field if you're looking to sort of sort of get the correct message over in your own way. Oh, definitely. Um, I still back myself to make decisions, but I know that. Having Mac there gives me a sense of comfort and confidence that if anything does, I guess, not go the way that I think it would, like I can tap on her shoulder and, and she's so willing and open to do that. And so this week has been great. She's just been by my side and just trying to help, um, I guess, alleviate, I guess, that pressure that I've kind of put on myself. You, you talk about um, sort of how much you care about it as well. Um, last time you asked about loss in New, I guess, New Zealand, how much, that, uh, how much does that fuel the fire leading you to this preparation with camps at Blacktown to you got over there in Northern Ireland? It was really disappointing because we knew that it, it wasn't evident of like the work that we've actually put in and we know that we're more than capable of actually um, playing some quality good rugby um, and that's just the only feel that we need to go into this game. Ireland being a tier one team in this WXV this year, we know we're capable of being in that position and so that is our fuel and fire to make sure we go into this game firing and I guess try and make a statement that, you know, we do believe we do believe that we should be in WXV one and and we believe that we have the potential to, to be amongst those teams. Um, it's just now actually finally putting putting I guess actions to our words. We've had camps the last two weeks that have um so we've seen such great progression within the girls and, and the team overalls, both um, staff and players. Um, and we'll hope that, like, we, I guess we make a statement this week. Hi, up north from AAP. Um, do, do you reckon there, there was a bit of a, there's been a bit of a settling your period, obviously, with Joe coming in and, you know, how she sees that she wants you to play or... <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, there's kinds of things. Like, is that how it, the team sort of approached it? And, and, like, after that, um, I guess when the WXB was decided... Did you, you know, have, oh, you both in plenty of team meetings, but was there any soul searching, you know, I suppose about where things went wrong and what's coming next? Yeah, I guess it's like that connection piece. Again, very new squad from the beginning of the year, new, new coaching staff, manage, management team. Uh, but it's just like trying to find that that balance between the players and the staff. And um, Joe's come in with a picture with a, with goal that she wants for us, and we all just got to buy into it, and and we believe it. it um, since the beginning, like she hasn't changed her message around it. She still believes we're you know a top tier team, and that we can do it. And so, I guess we just got to buy in as players physically and on the team, and that comes with our leadership on and off the field. And I think that's something that we're still trying to build. Hence the the new captaincy. So it's got nothing to do with Mike. We're actually just trying to generally build leadership on that field and and see how we can, I guess, with that depth, take this game to another level. And so on paper, you know, I know rugby doesn't always work, and according to the rankings, 
But, uh, you know, this, this is the game that you guys should feel confident about with. It's obviously difficult. You're in the Northern Hemisphere playing Ireland. Um, but, I, but sort of how are you feeling, I guess, about a bay chance? Good question. <laughs> Not to, um, look, the girls have put in the work and we are really confident. Um, being on Ireland the, the past week, we've learned to adapt the conditions. Probably don't fall in favour of what we had prepared for, but that's the... You know that's the nature of the game. You've got to adapt. You've got to adapt. You've got to work together. Um, there's no doubt. We know what the history has been between our teams. Australia seem, I guess, to either win convincingly or just win. And so, I guess the message that we took from that is that we've got to stay in the game before 80 minutes. Um, don't take your foot off the pedal. Go at it. Um, like I said, we're here to make a state. And then, and this this game, I hope, uh, will will set the tone for the rest of our tournament. What's the weather? Forecasts for for the game. Um, it's actually cloudy, clear at the moment. However, uh, every single time we've checked weather apps this week, it says that, and then there's this probably four ten minute stint of like heavy rain storm, and the rain like goes sideways. And so, um, look, we we can't we don't know what the weather forecast will say because despite what the um, you know they say, it can turn out the other way. Okay. Uh, Irish, um, like, I, I, like that's the Mel alluded to. I think the uh, the lowest or second lowest sort of ranked like Six Nations opponents, but they've you know finishing third is incredible achievement. Well, just a lot of that was around the forward pack. I'm just wondering how much of that sort of focus that's been from an sort of individual's fact, that perspective, of really shutting down that threat and what they have, particularly in that back row. Um, yeah, we definitely identified their threats, and look, we back our owls our team that we've picked and especially in that forward pack, um, we back our set piece and that's something that we've really been working on the last um, few weeks over back at home and um, we've identified them, we've we've set a plan and we've, we know what we've got to do. The next part is just executing and we'll make sure it comes off the way that we want to tomorrow. When you look at this Irish team, um, getting a lot of their sort of seven stars back, Amy Lee moved to Crow's hand that stands out and on the wing there. It's that just a clash that you're sort of looking forward to just seeing how your own sort of speeds has got and sick considering the fall in that Desi and Mayor have been over the past 12 to 18 months. Oh, definitely. It'll be exciting. Um, we hope with a really good set piece team that, you know, we can stop them in the middle and it doesn't have to get that wide. But we have trust in both me and Desi and, and Biola once she comes on um, that they can cover it. Like we've been missing that speed that we needed. And now that the fact that we get to cover both wings with a lot of speed, we have a lot of confidence that they can cover the seven scales and that. Right, that's all for me. Thank you. All good, Mel. We all thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck with the match. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.